This is episode 34, the copula. Now as promised, in this video we are going to look at the copula or the be verb. In the last video I listed the most common linking verbs and the first one I mentioned was the copula or the be verb. Now each form of this verb, and there are eight different forms, are one of the top 50 most used words in the English language. So it's a pretty important verb and we've already come across it quite a few times. So the copula or the be verb is a very useful verb and in this video I'm going to look at all of its eight different conjugations. So let's begin. Let's write down what the conjugations are. First of all we have I am, that's one, you are, that's two, he, she, it, is, that's three, I was, past tense, that's four. You were, that's five. He is being, clever, so being, that's six. I have been to Australia, that's been, that's seven. And then of course there's the infinitive be, to be or not to be? That is the question and that is eight. Eight different forms of the same verb. And this verb is actually one of the very few relics we carry into our modern English from Old English showing the extraordinary number of inflections that we used at the time. It used to be that all of our verbs carry these inflections and more but now it's just the be verb so it's pretty special. Now really, we should be grateful that the English speakers had a natural inclination to simplify words and grammars. Not only did every verb carry an inflection in Old English, so too did every noun and every adjective. Can you imagine? But here we are with one verb and its eight forms, and we have to know and use every one of them. So whenever you see these words, am, are, is, was, were, being, been, or be, know that they are all conjugations of the same verb. And whenever you hear the term the copula, this is the verb to which it's referring. Okay, so that was a very short interjection, wasn't it? But about something extremely important. Now our next video returns to another function of phrases and words that are found in a sentence, and that is the indirect object. So until then, thanks for watching The Language Code.